Well, hello. We're here at the Greene County Historical Society again. And let me tell you what's going on here. We've uh, they've been uh, cribbing these ties out here by hand and uh, a lot of work. So these got these ties through here, got to get them uh, spaced again. They're going to get them spaced and spiked down. And uh, I've been hauling gravel up here. Got the two loads up here today. Uh, this is what we're going to put back in for ballast. It's, it's a 2B gravel. It's not regular ballast, but it, since this is a static display, this uh, the 2B looks really nice in there. And uh, since we're not going to have high speed traffic, we don't have to worry about the shift track shifting on us. So anyway, it looks really nice. Uh, about a month ago, I brought uh, two more loads up. They used some of that up inside the building there already. And once we get this, uh, they get this uh, section of track here done. Eventually, they're going to put a uh, turnout in here, and uh, and go in so they can go into the other side of the building and get the coach out over there. Have the coach and the locomotive inside the building here. Eventually, uh, that's in the future project. But once we get this uh, taken care of. And we can shove, they can shove number four on up into this section of track. And I'm going to bring my excavator up and uh, crib all these ties out here. It's going to be a whole lot quicker. And uh, pull these, these old rotten ties out and put new ties in. I uh, have brought them up 225 ties. <laughs> so, and uh, I do really want to say this last video I made of number four and uh, I asked for some donations for the Historical Society and the Waynesburg and Washington Railroad I am just uh, the people here are just overwhelmed at the generosity of some of you folks and I they are so very much appreciative of the country even uh, had some uh, some $100 contributions and that is just that just warms, thrills my heart. It, it warms, uh, thrills the people here, and uh, they are so very much appreciative. Um, these old wooden chocks they got here—that's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. <laughs> so again, thank you guys very much, and I will put another link in the description if you'd uh, like to make contributions. All the money. I said put it on there, uh, CCRX 6700 or W&W uh, Railroad down at the bottom, uh, where it, what it's for, and that money will be earmarked exclusively for the preservation of the railroad stuff that they have here. Uh, I am donating all the rock for this project. Uh, I'm very thankful that I can do that. All right, we're back. We got a different ex my uh, one of my other excavators up here. This is a Kubota 121 instead of the uh, 161 I got on the railroad. And we're going to do some cribbing ties today. I just showed up, show you what's going on here. Get this unloaded. So we're going to be working back there. I uh, didn't. Okay. We got all do uh, this all cribbed out here this morning. Didn't take long. I only have a little 12-inch bucket on here. I don't have my cribbing bucket, but I couldn't use it anyway. So, got these uh, these good uh, relay ties back in here. Got our tie spacing nice. Here's something you guys will, you old railroaders will like. It's a three-foot gauge. Nice. Nice. You got an old tie place to work with. It's hard to find. This 85 pound rail. All right, we're gonna move this thing. Move it ahead and get some uh, cribbing done here. Okay. Sweet. Right. 
looking good. And we're going to start cribbing behind the locomotive. This is cool. Hey, somebody didn't put the garage door up. <laughs> There's the old tie plates we're using. I don't know where they got them from. There's some old ones. Okay, we got a little Plymouth locomotive here they're pushing it with. We need to get Okay, we can disconnect him and run that back. Get these ties in here next. He got it. Pull it out of a snowbank. All right. Chalk the wheels up there. Got a track crew out here today. Ha! <laughs> this is railroad. Good job. Nice to be young. <laughs> okay. Great progress today. Great progress. Biggest crossing out tomorrow. And on down here and get all this. We've got a lot of bad ties down here. Okay, we're here at the Greene County Historical Society. This is day two of our track rehabilitation work. And uh, take you up here and uh, just getting here this morning, about nine o'clock. I actually slept in a little bit this morning and I really kind of liked that. So we got the uh, we got a track, so a rock coming today, and a lot of ties to crib and replace, and this is all volunteer work. And we had a great day yesterday, great day. So I'll, uh, this is our project for today: is digging all of this out, and uh, we got a, a lot of bad ties in here. So, and we're gonna get down to here and try to get this done all done today just got here and um, get my sheet machine warmed up we found out something yesterday that uh, is pretty interesting I wanted to show you this one of our track crews here you want in this mr. Jones what do you want me to say good morning good morning <laughs> this is mr. Jones and he is a tireless absolutely tireless volunteer here on the railroad he's always out here doing something to donate and his wife uh, is in there in the office and she's in charge of everything they say especially mr jones 
yes. with <laughs> wonderful people though absolutely wonderful people so he's helping us out today and I'll show you there a whistle post that's pretty neat all righty we'll see who else shows up today I'm going to show you this this is not something that you get to see very often and we checked this out yesterday this uh, curve going into the building uh, okay if you want to check the degree on a curve on a railroad what you'll do we have a tape measure way up there and come down here and we'll set it right against the outside of the rail here and same on the other end and this is a 62 foot cord all right that's what all the federal code of federal regulation standards are on this is the 62 foot cord some of them a few of them the more critical ones are on the for higher speed rails are on 31 foot cords but for the most part 62 foot cord is what they federal code of federal regulations use so this is something that a lot of you guys have never seen and then so that's how you figure the degree of curvature what you got you get your 62 foot cord down here you gotta have two guys holding it or you can have clamps or whatever holding it to the rail and then you go to the mid ordinate which is 31 foot and you measure from this rail face here out to the string line and that gives you your degree of curvature and in this case I'm gonna let you think I know it's really hard to see on this uh, video's phone but I'm gonna let you guess for a minute what degree curvature you think this is now I will tell you down here where Mr. Jones is and down here the curvature kind of eases out and if I remember right we was that a uh, 26 or 29 degree curve down there 29 down here, 29 down here. okay couldn't remember which one it was yep. <laughs> so you got a guess I'll re if you remember too I told you the uh, the main line track for the Waynesburg and Washington Railroad had a 33 degree curve on it and that was horseshoe curve uh, when it was operational so coming out of the building here guys got your guesses this is a 36 degree curve now that's pretty wild so right here our mid-ordinate went from there out to the tape line that we had and it was 36 inches pretty neat huh all right we got a tracks of rock coming in here here in a little bit so we'll get on that and go from there Nice. Get our gravel delivered here. Okay. A E Transport in Smithfield, PA. 724-317-9959. They do all our heavy hauling for us. Very reliable. We got ballast to work with now, don't we? Yes, we do. All right. That's 2B, called 2B gravel here. About the size of marbles. Ball limestone, deep mine. Nice rock. That'll look pretty in there. Sweet.
That's about 23 ton. Nice sound in Peterbilt. It's called A&E because they named it after uh, the truck driver's, uh, he's an independent driver, they named it after his two daughters, Alexia and Eliana. A&E. Okay. Work is progressing really, really well. <laughs>